This is one of seven videos presenting the units of learning outcomes developed within Pirate Project. Please also watch the introduction video about earth building and our project. The Equit Earth Building is a matrix of nine units of learning outcomes designed to create new teaching content and certifications. Subunit B, COB, is the unit of the Equit Earth Building that covers the skills for building with COB. Once the mix is ready, it is stacked to progressively shape the wall in layers or lifts. The plastic cob mix is put on the base wall or in previous lifts, manually or with a digger. Cob mix is very heavy. Manually, small pieces are placed on the wall head with a fork, in layers. The pieces slightly overlap. They are laid slightly proud of the final wall surface. The art of cobbing this way lies in the control of the form and surface. At the end of a lift, the overhang is cut back and beaten to create a dense surface. Through cutting, the surface straw is oriented downwards. The order of pairing, that is, cutting and beating, varies in local traditions. Beating increases the density of the surface and it facilitates the cutting. If the overhang is too large, the beating cannot create a tight vertical surface and leads to a lot of excess material that has to be reprocessed. On old walls, the patterns created by various beating tools are still visible. The height of the lift may vary. It depends on local traditions, the clay, the moisture content of the mix, the weather during building, the drying conditions and local traditions. Each lift has to be reasonably dry before it can bear the load of a new lift, which might take a few days or several weeks. If a lift is too high or former lifts not dry enough, the wall may collapse during building process. The use of formwork requires equipment and handling of the shutters, but it speeds up the process of shaping the wall. Formwork may be made of wooden panels, or rigid metal grids. The pairing is quicker. The filling of the form requires special attention to guarantee that there are no voids in the cob. There are different practices for filling the form, with the mix more or less stiff or wet. Cob mix used in formwork may be stiffer and drier than the mix used to shape cob without shutters. Cob formwork doesn't have to be as resistant as rammed earth formwork, as there is less compaction. The shutters only give the shape to the mix. Different tools for beating are used. Holes may be closed by stitching as long as the wall is not too dry. The mix used has to be well connected to the existing wall. Cob walls have a thickness of 300 to 600 millimeters. Window frames, lintels, beams, and so on are directly integrated to the cob. The shrinkage and settling of the cob has to be anticipated and will probably amount to a few centimeters over the height of a building. Cob naturally works in curves. Furniture, stairs, columns with a cob you can. Cobb can also offer very contemporary architecture. It has sculptural beauty and great design potential. Do you cobb?